Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you haven't seen this face before, my name is Hermione and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys some IKEA hacks. I love sharing these kind of videos because I love showing you guys what you can make with IKEA products because they're so accessible to a lot of people all over the world. And it's definitely fun to make them over because they're practically like a blank canvas. Before I get into the video, I just want to make a quick mention of today's sponsor, which is Gameloft. They are very kindly partnering with me on today's video, so thank you so much to them, and thank you to you guys for watching sponsored content because it means that my channel can keep going and I can make a ton of DIYs. So many more DIYs are coming, you guys. So many more. <laughs> so the app I want to share with you today is Disney Magic Kingdoms, which is honestly so much fun. I love it. I'm waking up in the middle of the night sometimes and being like, <gasps> Oh my god, I have to check my theme park, which means it's pretty addictive, so I'm just warning you guys now, it is addictive. The game is free to download on iOS and Android, and I will leave all of the links in the description bar for you to go check it out. So basically what it is, is a theme park building game, and you can add some of your favourite characters, such as Mickey, Minnie, you know, the Monsters Inc. characters, Toy Story, there's also a Zootopia update that just came out, so you guys should check that out too. You can build buildings, attractions, and you can go on loads of quests and find chests in the kingdom. There's honestly so much to do, you guys will never get bored, and it's so addicting. I know I just said that, but it really is. The thing I love most about it is I miss being in the Disney parks when I'm not there, so it's got some of my favorite rides like California Screamin' and Space Mountain, and the cool thing is, some of these rides you can move around so you can kind of make the kingdom look exactly how you would like it to be. So if you want to go check that out, the link will be in the description, as I said, and don't forget that new Zootopia update because that unlocks a bunch of new characters, concession stands, attractions, and other character quests. If you play the game, let me know what level you're on in the comments down below. And with all of that being said, let's get into the video. The first project I'm going to show you is how to upcycle a really inexpensive clock and give it a little twist of your own. This is the clock that I'm using for this project and I'll be taking it completely apart. So I'm using a flathead screwdriver to push the front piece off from the back. This actually took quite a long time so be careful when you do it. It could be quite dangerous if you're not careful. And then take the hands off the clock. Then I also pried out the clock piece from the back. This was also tricky to do so do be careful. I tried making a small hole in the middle of the clock and then I realized this was a really stupid thing to do. So I changed direction and I started by using a piece of mount board to trace the area of the clock and then I cut this out. This is going to become the face of the clock so make sure it fits really well on top of the clear plastic that we popped out earlier. And you can also sand the edges where it was fixed into the clock as well if you want to make it smooth. For the face of the clock, I'm using this piece of Oliver Bonus wrapping paper. You're going to be seeing this a lot on my channel because I'm obsessed with it. So I just pasted some Mod Podge on my mount board and pressed this firmly onto the wrapping paper, making sure that there were no air bubbles. Then go ahead and cut around this too. Instead of using numbers on the clock, I decided to use push pins. So I stuck them into an old chopping board and I coated them and the hands of the clock with a coat of white spray paint to cover up the colors. You can use the hands as they are, but I decided to make them white. So go ahead and put your clock back together. When you add this back piece, don't forget to put the battery in because we're going to be gluing it shut. So take your clear piece of clock and then you can use a hot glue gun to place the face on the front and then you can put the hands back on and your clock will immediately start working. And then lastly, add your push pins. You can do 12, but I decided to do four, one at every 15 minute interval. And there you go. There you have it. This is your own personalized clock. Now you can just put it on your wall or stand it on your desk. Also, I think this would look really cool with Ikea wrapping paper. They do a ton of really interesting patterns. Next up, I want to show you this very, very simple side table hack. You guys won't believe how easy this is to make. So for this, you'll need an IKEA Darius stool, and this only costs three pounds. You'll also need a large tile, which you can get from your local home improvement store. So for this, all I'm doing is using a ton of hot glue and gluing the top of the stool, and then I'm putting the tile flat on top of this. You can use a stronger glue if you would prefer, but I would just recommend not sitting on this and only using it to place a few lightweight items. Also, I'm using a little bit of glue underneath just to secure it even more. 
I told you this was easy, right? And the tile only cost me £2.98, so this whole thing was under £6. It was so cheap and I do think it looks a lot more expensive than £6. Next up, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this giant floor pillow out of two very cheap £1.90 rugs. So you're gonna take your two rugs and lay them flat. Make sure you cut the tags out and make sure they're facing with the tag side facing up. So you're gonna lay them like this in a T shape with one going horizontal and one going vertical and you're gonna use that center line as I was showing you right there to line them up. Then using some hot glue or a very thick needle and thread, you're going to want to go along that line. Hot glue will actually give this a very strong hold but you can actually use hot glue in the fabric stick format too so you could check that out if you would like. Then what you're going to do is fold this over like so and use your hot glue gun or your stitch to go over the other side and adhere that side too so it kind of makes like a tube. This whole thing is going to be a rectangular cube shape so when you get to the ends Use your hot glue gun on the short edges first and get those perfectly in place. Tuck the edges in and this will make the cube corners and then go ahead and do that long side as well. Do this on one open end but leave the other side open just for the time being because we're going to fill it with really cheap IKEA pillows. You can go ahead and stuff them in like this if you want or take the stuffing out, either works. And then close up that gap at the end in the same way that we did the other side. Hopefully this made sense. It was very difficult to film this. It was just really awkward, but I hope you can see what I did here. But I do really love how this turned out and it is super comfortable to sit on. And lastly, I want to show you guys how you can upcycle the classic IKEA paper lantern. This is the one I'm talking about. I cannot pronounce its name, I'm sorry. I don't want to butcher the Swedish language, but I'm just gonna upcycle it by using these little confetti pieces that I got from Flying Tiger. Just adding a little bit of Mod Podge to those and pasting them onto the lampshade. I'm concentrating them quite densely at the bottom and then getting a bit sparse going out towards the middle. And you don't have to buy the confetti, you could totally cut out your own shapes using one of those little stamp cutting out tool thingies and some tissue paper. This is the final result of the one I made and it just goes to show that you can turn something really plain into something totally different. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you make any of these things, I'd love to see them. Definitely tag me on Instagram or Twitter. And as always, I hope you have a great week and I will see you in my next one. Bye.